Okay, how's it going guys? I want to uh, talk a little today about uh, training for appearance versus training for function. And they're very different, okay? Um, it's often frustrating to me to see people in the fitness industry and they're you know, dealing with clients and they're showing them uh, completely inappropriate workouts for their goals, okay? I have an example where I have a friend who is a, a kickboxer. He's he trains in uh, Muay Thai, uh, kickboxing. And his uh, teacher at the school is very old school. He doesn't believe in using weights of any kind, only body weight stuff and that kind of conditioning work, which is fine. I respect that, okay? But my friend wanted some actual weight training, okay? Now, he lives in Scarborough, far away from me, so he got a trainer at a, a gym near his, his house, okay? And he had him doing this, this ridiculous split program where he was you know, doing all the specialized work for his biceps. You know, he did, I think, four different kinds of curls and uh, all, all kinds of isolation moves, which are completely inappropriate for what he wanted, okay? When you're talking about functional training, okay, there are really six motions to focus on, six, okay? Now, what they are is um, the first one is a squat, okay? Any kind of a, a squatting knee bend motion, okay, where, you know, you go going down, down the ground, Preferably so your legs are below parallel with the ground, okay? And um, you want to make sure your, your knees do not extend over your uh, toes, okay? That can cause a knee strain. Second motion is a bending movement, okay? So that can include um, where you're hinging at the waist, okay? So include, um, you know, a dumbbell swing, kettlebell swing, a deadlift, a good morning. That all qualifies. Next, you got your push. Now, there's your push-ups, your dips, your bench presses, your military presses. It's, it's all part of, part of that, that family, okay? Pulling. You got rowing, chin-ups, lap pull-downs, one-arm dumbbell roll, kettlebell rows, uh, whatever, okay? Any, any kind of pulling motion. Things also like uh, cleans, uh, high pulls, even the snatches, that works too, okay? Um, then you have a twist. A uh, twist refers mainly to, mainly to the core, uh, a twisting motion, and that also includes contraction, like um, like a crunch, like a mountain climber. It's all part of that, the core twisting, that core condensing and expanding motion, okay? And then lastly, you've got the stepping, okay? And that is um, that can include a lunge, okay? Even though you're not going up steps, uh, you're going a straight line generally, like lunge walking, but you're 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 still going in, in, in that kind of exaggerated stepping motion. Okay, you can of course go up steps. You can do a farmer's walk. Okay, things like that are some kind of a, a stepping walking type motion, which you need as well, because walking is one of the most natural things that human beings can do, really. Okay. So there you go. Okay, these are the six motions to focus on if you're concerned with, with uh, function. Okay, and the thing is that if you focus on these motions, you'll find that your appearance will follow suit. Okay, you will get a strong physique because your physique is strong. Okay, you will have endurance and stamina. You will have, you know, a, you, your, your body will, will be able to perform, not just look pretty, but like you will be able to perform. Okay, and that's far more important than just training for superficial reasons. Okay, I mean, I, I respect bodybuilding as a sport. Don't get me wrong, I, I do. I, I mean, it may sound like I'm, 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 I'm not, but I, I, I am, okay? But it all depends on how it's done. Now, good bodybuilders, especially ones in the past, I mean, you look at Steve Reeves, John Grimmick, Reg Park, Jack Mullane, whatever, uh, many, many guys, George Eiferman, these guys were functional as well as looking good, okay? And part of the reason for that is because in the old days, you had to perform as well as uh, pose, okay? Like, you go way back to the 40s, okay? Jo John Grimmick beat uh, Steve Reeves uh, once in the contest because he did gymnastics. Actually, they had a gymnastics round. And even though Steve Reeves beat him on the physique round, uh, uh, actually, I think it was a tie, actually, on the physique round. But John Grimmick took it because he wiped him out on the uh, gymnastics round. Now, you don't ever hear about that kind of thing nowadays, but in the old days, performance and appearance was important in bodybuilding. Okay, um, but certainly above all else, function has to take, take the cake for the most important thing. Okay, you've got to be able to perform. A body that looks good and can't do anything besides pose, to me, is worthless. 
Okay, you've got to have a functional physique, a functional body. Okay, so anyways, I hope that that helps. Um, excuse me if I'm a little opinionated, um, but that's, well, I just want to put this video out there, okay, and just explain to people these emotions and you can do whatever you want with that, okay? So, please, if you like this video, um, <clears throat> subscribe to my YouTube channel, In Home Trainer Oakville, as well as my Facebook page, In Home Trainer Oakville, Instagram and Pinterest, and as well, my website, www.chriswongfitness.com, okay? So, thank you.